So when you want to move in complexity, the best way to do that is through these safe to fail experiments. And because they're a little bit different from how we usually move, it's useful to remember just a couple of guidelines. The first is, you don't want a destination in safe to fail experiments, you want a direction. A destination is too narrow, and you want a direction so that many people can be building experiments alongside you, and so that you have the whole range to play inside. Because remember, systems shift more easily at the edges. So the next idea is you want to see if you can come up with experiments that aren't at the center of the issue, but are more along the edges of the issue, so that um, as you explore, you're making the solution space bigger and bigger. The next thing you want to be sure is that these are pragmatic, little, small, inexpensive experiments that are right inside your span of control, and that you can learn from quite quickly, so that they, um, they can be operationalized very fast. You don't want to be waiting for what's the best experiment, what's the big bet here. And while you're being pragmatic, you might be a little playful because it's that sparkle in your eye that makes the experiment more likely for you to do, but it also makes it more contagious for other people. So doing something that's a little bit fun helps you create experiments that have a better and better chance of tipping the system into something new. Because the point isn't for you to choose the very single best experiment ever. We don't know what's gonna work until afterwards. That's the point of complexity. The point is for you to choose many, many little experiments with this playful edge so that over time you are nudging the system into a new place and learning so that each experiment you do next will build on what you've learned up to this point and you get better and better at this over time. I had a client once who was trying to deal with this issue of um, collaborating across silos. And kind of at the center of the issue, they thought, was how people were rewarded, what their pay was. So to stay well outside of that, they chose the direction of, we want more collaboration. We'll go to the edges and say, OK, not about pay. Maybe it's just about how people know each other. We'll make it pragmatic and fun by making a little tiny experiment that says, we'll give you 100 bucks if you take one of those guys to lunch with you. Some people did it, many people didn't do it, but the people who actually took those guys to lunch, they began to build work together, they began to build relationships, those relationships became contagious, and the silos actually started to come down because of this playful, um, pragmatic experiment they tried. And that's the point of safe to fail experiments, little things that you can try, learn from, and nudge the system into a better place.